knot candy is pretty simple. Basically, you're putting a sugar-coated string into sugar-saturated water and letting it sit for roughly 10 days until most of the water has evaporated and you're left with a crystallized sugar stick. This is your rock candy. In order to successfully make rock candy, you need to start with a good foundation. This foundation is sugar saturated water. The sugar saturated water is also called a super saturated solution. A super saturated solution can be made by applying a substance such as sugar to hot water until no more sugar can be dissolved. A lot of sugar combined with hot water will give you a super saturated solution. The blue dots represent water molecules, and the pink dots represent sugar molecules. As water gets hotter, space between molecules grows, allowing for more sugar to fit in between these molecules. This is why hot water works better to make rock candy instead of cold water. So why does sugar crystallize in the water? As water cools and evaporates, there is less space between the water molecules for sugar to occupy. So the sugar molecules are forced to stick together and crystallize. The string is pre-coated in sugar in order to provide a platform for recrystallization. This process is called nucleation. Nucleation is a product of the supersaturated solution cooling and evaporating, thus resulting in molecules bumping into each other and also sticking together. So why does the water need to evaporate? Evaporation is necessary because if the water did not evaporate, the sugar molecules would continue to just kind of float around in the water. As more and more of the water evaporates, the sugar molecules become more condensed, aiding significantly in the process of recrystallization and nucleation. This leaves you with rock candy.